a, a non-medicated depression treatment that is FDA cleared for teens 15 and older. And new this morning, the local doctor who helped it get cleared by the FDA spoke with ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott about how it works. Larissa joins us live now in Tampa this morning with the details. Good morning to you, Larissa. They're calling this a game changer for so many teenagers and their families. Good morning, Dia. They sure are. Mental health experts are telling me that this treatment is a huge step forward to give teens another option to help with their depression. Dr. Melissa Fickey is a child and adult psychiatrist in Hillsborough County. She worked with a group to help get transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS FDA cleared for teens 15 and older. I presented some of my own patient information. TMS was previously cleared for adults 21 and up, but Vicki tells us getting it cleared for some teens is a huge step forward and offering a non-medicated option to treat mental health disorders like depression and helps get it approved by insurance companies to make it more accessible to people who otherwise couldn't afford it. Never had anything like this. We've never had an outpatient device. Um, there's always been people hear about ECT, electric convulsive therapy, which is really, you know, people are real scared of that and think that this is ECT, which it's not at all. TMS is a non-invasive treatment that works by delivering magnetic pulses to the area of the brain that's involved in emotional regulation. It's forming an action potential across your neurons that then get your neurons firing again. That's thought to be underactive in patients with depression. Vicki says the magnetic pulses are safe and similar to the strength of an MRI machine and can play a critical role in waking things up in the brain. We've looked at PET scans that show, up, show that patients that have a depressed brain, it lights up differently and shows that there's not much activity going on in comparison to a non-depressed brain. Dr. Jennifer Katzenstein, co-director of the Center for Behavioral Health at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, agrees that this treatment can benefit some patients. This is an exciting emerging treatment for some patients and having the right protocol and having the right um, um, equipment that's available is incredibly important. TMS offers another treatment for families looking for a solution. But it's one more option that is incredibly helpful in some kids to be able to treat depression without having to rely solely on medication. A therapy and a, having a strong counseling relationship is a key part of any of these treatments as well. And moving forward, groups hope to get this cleared for even younger patients and for more mental health disorders. I'm live in Hillsborough County this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.